beautiful sunny day today. We are here in Antalya. What I want to talk about today's subject is basically about investment. Now, many people, they make a judgment straight away. This is old. This is new. I want a modern apartment. I want this apartment. But many things they don't think about, which is very, very important, is location. Location is very important. What is walking distance to your apartment? What is walking distance to your house? Yeah, shopping, supermarkets, masjid, if that's important to you, uh, beautiful areas, beautiful locations, um, tourist destination areas, the beach, the sea, the mountains, the parks, the cliffs. What is it that you need, that you want? So there's many people with different perspectives of what they want. So because I've lived in many of these areas, I've lived in the, the beach area, you know, where the beach is down there, Konyalti Beach. And that's where all the foreigners used to go in the beginning. And I felt depressed. I felt really uh, bored in that area. There weren't enough people, especially in the winter months. And it was just dead, you know, and it's just a beach. I mean, I've been to beaches all around the world. You know, it's just a beach. So, but what I found here in the old town, not just the ancient mosques on the historic places, but everything was here. All the buzz, all the people, everything was happening in the city center. And that's why I fell in love with this place. And now uh, I've had this opportunity um, that I've got, got to go with, that I'm gonna move into another apartment next door because we've already got a few apartments here where our families got them. So I'm selling one or two or one of them. I don't need to sell both of them, I need to sell one of them. So one of them is the two bedroom apartment in Mark Antalya Mall. So just to explain to you the difference between both of them. So starting with the Mark Antalya Mall one, that one, the main advantage with that one, which I, because everything I bought, I bought after thinking a hundred times. So I'm in the business. This is my business. You know, my partner uh, tells me which ones are good, which ones are bad. So whichever one I'm selling personally, I'm not selling because by choice. I'm selling because I found something even better. You know, I found something, an opportunity, because we've got the farm that's going on. Yeah, we've got investments going on in other places. That's the reason why I have to sell only one. Do you understand? So just to give it, make it very clear, give you a bit of example of everything. So the Mark Antalya apartment is a two bedroom apartment, sun facing. You can convert into three bedrooms as well because the kitchen is separate, but the living room is massive. So you can convert it into a three bedroom. It's an Airbnb property because there's only four apartments in the whole building. Yeah, it's on the first floor, easy access. Yeah, one floor up and there's a gym downstairs, ideal for Airbnb. It's two minutes walk from the sea, two minutes walk from uh, the old town, this whole historic old town. Uh, 15 minutes walk to 15 masjids, yeah. One minute walk to Mark Antalya Mall, one minute walk to the tram station that goes directly to uh, the airport, yeah. And of course, it's in the central location, you know, and it's complete sun facing. I don't think you'll find a balcony that wide, that sun facing throughout the whole area probably. I looked and looked and looked and that was the only place I found it. So I, that's the one I got. So that is very special. And the most special thing about that is I buy always for multiple purposes. So not just for rental, not just for living is perfect, but also for urban regeneration. So that place has got 18.5% land share. Yeah. And it's got like a, it's got a huge percentage of the land that you own, you personally own, because there's only four apartments in the whole, whole land, in the whole building, you know, so you own a big percentage of that a part of that land which is the most expensive thing you know lands in the city center are super duper expensive because when they break those in the future and they make a new building then those buildings will be much more higher do you understand and then a new building itself is going to multiply your investment you know uh, minimum double times in pounds now coming to this three bedroom one so this is the three bedroom terrace Nobody uses this terrace. You can sit here, relax, enjoy yourself. Nobody comes here. Yes, this location is a bit more expensive. It's the most, because this is on a main road, yeah? So on a main road, uh, it's more expensive, the buildings, yeah? Because this can be used as a business, yeah? This apartment can actually be classified as a business. So when you rent it to a business, you can make much more money. So again, multiple benefits. Again, urban regeneration is going to happen very soon. It's happening already in the back areas. But in the front areas, it takes time because there's many businesses. So urban regeneration is going to happen here. Again, you're going to multiply your money. 
So urban regeneration is a big thing here. Another thing is you can rent out Airbnb rental this apartment for up to 100, maybe 110, 120 pound a night because up to nine people can sleep in here. You know, maybe even 10 if you push it with the children. So this place has got that advantage. 100 pound a night in the, in the winter months, I do it minimum 60 pound a night. Yeah, so you can do your calculation. You can work out how much that is when you buy it for 140 or even if you give a lower offer, 140,000 pound. Then the two bedroom apartment, you can rent that out from 50 pound a night to even 75 pounds a night. So you can work it out again on your calculator how much that is. So that's 110,000 pounds. This one is 140,000 pounds, yeah? That one has the land share advantage. This one doesn't have the land share advantage, but this has got the main, main, like this is like Hyde Park. You know, the street is the most expensive street. You know, it's the most beautiful street in Antalya, hands down, you know? Uh, where all the bars, all the restaurants, where all the people come to uh, enjoy themselves and, and go in the history and all the tourists, they come here, you know, and they don't, mostly they don't stay here. They come from the all-inclusive hotels, but this is a big, massive tourist destination, tourist area where people come because it's a, obviously a, a uh, historic place, yeah, of Antalya, the main city center place. So all the shopping, all the restaurants, takeaways, uh, food places, everything is here. So when I do my Yemek Septi, when I do my food delivery, like just eat, I get all the restaurants. When I used to live in Konyalti, yeah, I used to only get like one pizza option and it was rubbish, <laughs> you know? So when I got here, we went mad, you know, like in terms of ordering food. So that's a major advantage about this location. Same with that other location in the area, Mark Antalya one. So this is what you've got to understand. You know, these places have got multiple benefits. When you buy a new building, you're going to buy you're going to pay the premium price and you're going to get a new building and usually they, don't even have, they won't even have a view they won't even you have to be very careful with sun facing how much sun actually hits the apartment you know so these things are very very important location is very very important yes you can buy a modern apartment at the back of antalya for hundred thousand pounds yeah it'll be modern it'll be new uh you know but that's a disadvantage of those, of those areas is that you won't be walking distance to these areas yeah, if you don't need that then that's fine but to be honest i mean i live here these things do matter. So anyway, I'm just trying to sell my location, most importantly, and these two apartments, you know, uh, because I'm in need of the money. That's why I'm kind of doing it. Here comes the tram again. Kind of started it with the tram, ending with the tram. Are you bored? Should I end it? Or oh, you want some more information? So anyway, look, this area, I never, ever, ever get bored. And that's why I don't want to move from this area. Yeah, yes, I do like many other places, for their advantages. I've talked about Burdur. Yeah, it's a nice uh, city. Uh, one and a half hours away from Antalya, up and coming, got its own university, Lake City. Everything's very really beautiful and really cheap. You can get 40,000 pound houses, which we're selling. If someone wants a nice, quiet place, you know, uh, it's surrounded by beautiful farms, but they want to be right next to a masjid, which is extremely rare to find this property. Uh, you know, you can try and find it. Go try and find something like this. Something like this surrounded by natural beauty yeah surrounded by farms and mountains yeah 45 minutes away from antalya airport w two miles from the village center where all the shops schools hospitals i mean doctors and everything is there you know shopping and everything so that's two miles away and the lake that goes where they do rafting and they do all these barbecue restaurants and everything that's only two miles away petrol station two miles away that we're selling for sixty thousand pounds again that you can make another floor Again, you can make it into a nice villa style of, uh, uh, house. I've, I've kept it simple. I didn't touch it because I don't know what the new owner wants to do. Maybe I make it and the new owner doesn't like it. You know, yes, it looked amazing and it'll be easier to sell, but I've kept it as a blank canvas. The roof is already made. The foundations are already made for you to make another floor. You can make one and a half floors, make a terrace on the third floor. Amazing, amazing place. You know, if you want that kind of place where you're only 45 minutes away from Antalya, 45 minutes away from Antalya airport, but you want to be in the middle of farmland, but you want to be next to the masjid, that is another rare opportunity. So again, as I said, when I'm selling something myself, wallahi, I have never bought something which I have sold. This is the first time I'm doing it because I'm in need of money. Otherwise, the, all of these properties, I would never, ever, ever sell because they're extremely rare to find, extremely difficult, extremely, uh, uh, the location, the masjid, all these things are very, very difficult. All of these apartments, all of these places have got multiple purpose benefits. You know, living, renting Airbnb, even the village house can be done Airbnb, which was my uh, 
uh, our thingy. But now we've made the toilet, we put English toilet in it, we've done the plumbing, we've done the electric, we've done, we, we're furnishing it, we're going to sell it to you furnished as well. You know, so all you have to do now is just the refurbishment, how you want to do the designs and stuff like that. Because it's a blank canvas. Uh, and outside, what you want to do with the garden, people, different, people have different things what they want to do with the garden. And the fence, all these things, you know, I don't know what design people want. So all these things, I'm trying to explain to you what the advantages and disadvantages of all of them are and help you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. Uh, these are really uh, unique properties, yeah, and very difficult to find. And it took me long periods of time to find them. That's why it's difficult. Same with the Burdur house, which is 40,000 pounds right in the compound of the masjid. Extremely difficult to find something that's a, a, a tiny bit refurbished, you know. At least it's refurbished from the inside, you know, quite decently. All of them are very difficult to find. And again, urban regeneration, that area, because the apartments are being made literally two blocks away, all new buildings. Yeah, they're breaking those houses and they're making new buildings. And you'll get yourself a brand new one or two apartments for free. Yeah, which you won't be able to get for £40,000. So keep that in mind. That, uh, anyone has any questions, they can email me at facebizzy at gmail.com. They can join our Telegram groups and we can discuss this in person. But... Um, the main thing what I'm trying to say is right now I'm in need of money. That's what I'm trying to sell them. Otherwise, I wouldn't sell them. We've got off-grid farm three hours away from Antalya. And we've got a lot of work going on. We've got a lot of things, projects happening there before I advertise that to the group. So anyone interested in that, they'll have to wait, you know, because we're trying to make that off-grid thing. If anyone's interested, we're trying to think of making into like container homes and whatnot. So many Turkish people, what they do is they have an apartment in the city because of the convenience of living in the city. And they also have a village house or a farmhouse, you know, so they keep that as a side. Uh, so that's one of the ways Turkish people always, they do that. So when they have a village house, when they have those, those kind of houses, like a 60K house, it's extremely difficult to find one for sale because they, they usually never sell it. They always want to keep it for their family, you know. So anyway, may Allah give us tawfiq to do what's right, what's good, and uh, make istikhara, make dua to Allah, show us the signs, what is good for you, what's bad for us, Allah protect us. You know, um, I don't want to push anyone to do anything at the end of the day. Um, if this investment doesn't go through, uh, no one buys any of the apartments, no problem. You know, then that's Allah's will, you know, but these are amazing properties, you know, at the end of the day. And before I forget, the one who buys the three bedroom apartment, he will be seconds away from me. So we'll be neighbors, we'll be able to see each other from the balcony. And if they're going to buy the Mark Antalya apartment, then you're only going to be 10 minutes walk from me, you know, so I don't know if that's an advantage or a disadvantage. <laughs> And also keep in mind, don't think that this area is really busy. Yeah. As soon as you go inside this old town, as soon as you go inside, uh, you know, the parks that are surrounding these cliffs. Yeah. Massive park over there. Yeah. Then all of that is calm, quiet, peaceful, sea, private beaches, you know, for a few pounds. And you got obviously the beach nearby as well. The tram goes there all the time. And just unlimited beaches across this whole cliff. So don't think that it's a busy place. It's an extremely beautiful place with lots of things happening. But I urge you, it's not for everyone. If someone doesn't like it, that's fine. Someone wants to be in the back areas, in the quiet areas. Again, the village house is there. Again, the Burdur house is there. And also there's apartments that we can show you that are modern and that are in these compounds. But remember the compound ones, you have to pay monthly fees, yeah? Some of them are 30 pound, 40 pound, 50 pound, 60 pound. My one is four pounds a month, yeah? my uh, council tax is uh, 15 pounds a year how much are you paying council tax you know so keeping these apartments even as a holiday home don't worry about it oh one other thing very important thing before i forget is that residency permit this is very very important yeah so some people who want to come from england or from from europe they don't need a visa they can come here for six months a year they don't need a visa yeah so they could do six months they live here, six months they rent out their apartment on Airbnb because all of these are Airbnb short-term rental properties. So all they can do, some sort of long-term, three months, three months to other to customers. Unlimited options with these locations. As even with the village house, possibly even with the Burdur house. But what I'm saying is that if you don't have, if the main advantage of residency is if you do want to show $200,000, we can try and do that to show $200,000 in this apartment. Um, and what we do in that case is that... Um, uh, when you buy it, a big advantage of residency is that when you, uh, once you've got residency, yeah, after three months, you apply for your residency using this property, then after that, you can even sell it. You don't even have to keep it, you know, and you still have your residency and you can move to any other area. 
So there's no disadvantage of that. And residency, you can have unlimited amount of people in your residency. It doesn't have to be even people who are related. It could be anybody, you know, even your mom, your dad, children over 18, everything goes. When it comes to citizenship, yes, it has to be children who are under 18. But citizenship as well, uh, the main, main advantage is you don't have to buy one property, you can buy multiple properties. For residency, you must buy one property. For citizenship, you can only buy... Uh, for, for residents, you can only buy one property. For citizenship, you can buy unlimited properties. Yeah, And once you become a citizen, the main advantage, of course, is you can buy any property, you can work anywhere, you can do what you want. You just have no worries, you know, and you can get the cheaper health insurance. But obviously, if you're on residency, you just pay minimum insurance. That's what I do. And just do pay as you go. It's quite cheap with the health kit. So that option is there as well. So residency can be applied. Citizenship can be applied. These are other options as well. But if you're looking for even six months a year, you don't even need a visa. You don't need all of that hassle. Just buy the property, rent it out six months. Six months you um, you live in it, make the most of it. Come in the winter months, something avoid the the, the cold, crazy cold in the western countries. And Bob's your uncle, you know. Alhamdulillah. Um, so I can't, don't, don't forget, this is the only location where you get 15 masjids within 15 minutes walk, and all of them are ancient, historic. Some of them with the glass floors. You know, you must have seen some of the videos on the on the channel. I do not get bored of this place. I do not get bored of this area, the park, the playground, the area, the, the sea, the cliffs, the boats harbour, the shopping, the people. It's just another level, you know. And keep in mind, when you invest in Antalya, you're investing in one of the most popular, the second most popular city in Turkey, yeah? And it's one of the most growing cities in Turkey, yeah? So if this is the city centre, and the, the city is 10 kilometres back, now they are making 12, 13, 14, 15 kilometers back. The farmlands are being converted to mega projects. Of course, we can't have the chance to jump on those projects because obviously the Turkish people and the big corporations, they have their thing on that. But that means these areas, in my opinion, will continue to go up because if those areas, are uh, uh, new projects are being made at the back, the population keeps growing, the airports are doubling in size, the, the tourism is increasing, the Antalya city center, the biggest city, the most popular city, the most important city in all of South Turkey is Antalya, you know, and it's one of the only areas that is not red zone earthquake. All of the Turkey on the coastal areas is entirely red zone, all the way from Fatiye, all the way up to uh, Izmir, all the way up to Istanbul, major, major city, which is why a lot of people from Istanbul are moving. They're leaving Istanbul because of the earthquake that recently happened. All the way up to the north, trap zone, all the other areas bordering, uh, you know, Ukraine and Russia. Again, <laughs> who wants to be there? So anyway, the, and they're very cold and very, uh, you know, a um, uh, lot of rain and water that comes down and flooding that happens there. So Antalya is one of the most upcoming cities and nothing has stopped it. It just keeps growing, keeps increasing in value. Keeps, demand keeps coming because of this reason. It's got its own university, it's got anything major that happens that you need to get done, whether it's major hospitals, major schools, major universities, work, everybody is coming to Antalya. So the future of Antalya is good. Allah knows what happens in the future, but till now in the past two, three years, everything is doubling in pounds. Everything is doubling in dollars, you know? So you got to think, make a stikara. And for me personally, I think it's the best city in the entire world. And if you're a Muslim, subhanAllah, it's just another level of amazing enjoyment, fun, uh, you know, uh, masjids, Islamic, uh, Islamic schools. It's the exact balance that foreigners need. The key word here is foreigners. We are foreigners. So we, need, we can't just jump into a Turkish city. This is probably the best stepping stone, if not the best place to live forever, inshallah. By the way, are you scared of heights by any chance? Ah. Uh... 